in view of that, uh, Freddie, sure there comes a time when you, you want to share your life with someone. Yes, but nobody wants to share their life with me. <laughs> yes, I do. Of course I do. Of course I do. But I think it's, it's, uh, it's not easy living with me. I think at the moment, uh, maybe I'm trying too hard. You know, sometimes, I, of course I think about that. And uh, in, in one way, I think uh, the more mishaps I have, the better the songs are going to be, you know? Once I find a long-lasting relationship, bang goes all the research for wonderful songs. At the moment, you know, I'm sort of I'm, I'm living on, on past mishaps. And, uh, well, anyway, having said that, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's in store for me. We can take it that your songs reflect the state of your life. I think so. I, I think so, yes. And that's why on this album it's quite a diverse selection of moods, isn't it? Yes, it is, because that's my character too. You know, I, mean, I, I don't want to be so just... Uh, how boring to just be one... You know, just to have one, uh, one side of your character coming across in everything you do. I'm a man of extremes, you know. I sort of change from day to day, you know, like a chameleon. And, uh, you know, I look forward to that, you know. I don't want to be the same person every day. And the way this album has turned out, it's just a, a whole spectrum of, of, of what my life is, to be honest. Another but I was not made in heaven. <laughs> Do you think you're going to get to heaven? No, I don't want to. You don't want to? No, hell's much better. <laughs> Look at the interesting people that you're going to meet down there. <laughs> you're going to be there too, you know. <laughs> well, you talk a lot about love on the album. Yes, I know. I don't know why. <laughs> it obviously means a lot I'm to I'm, I'm possessed by love. Yeah. Isn't everybody, though? Isn't everybody? Yes, I suppose they are. I, are you down deep, deep down there, in spite of the tough facade you put on. Yeah, a, rom right, yeah. a romantic at heart? Well, I guess so, yeah. You mentioned that you don't write songs basically uh, giving a message. I think if you, if you sort of put them all in one bag, I think my songs are all under the label emotion, you know? It's emotion and feeling. So, I mean, I, I write songs that a lot of people have written before. It's all to do with love and emotion. Yeah, I'm, I'm just a true romantic. And I think everybody's written songs... Uh, in that field, I just write it in my own way, so they, they, they carry a different sort of, um, it's a different texture or whatever. I'm writing about things that, that everyday people go through, so I mean, you know, even though I, a lot of people have fallen in love and a lot of people have fallen out of love, people are still doing it, so I'm still writing songs about that in different atmospheres. I can't help it, it's, it's just automatic, and uh, I'd love to write songs about something totally different, but they all seem to end up in... Uh, in a very emotional and, and tragic way. I don't know, maybe I'm a very tragic person, I don't know why. But I still, there's, there's an element of humour at the end, you know. So that's basically what uh, my songs are all about. I'm not, I'm not sitting here trying to say that, oh, look, I've written a song that nobody else has thought about or written about, but I do it in my own way. That's the way it is, because I think to actually sing and write about love is, is just limitless, you know, and uh, I'm a very loving person, you know. Are you? Oh, I, I put myself in there. I think uh, songs are like buying a new dress or, or a new shirt. I mean, it's just you, you wear it and then you discard it. I mean, people are always writing new songs. I, I think, OK, a, a certain few classics will always remain. It's lovely to hear that uh, We Are The Champions is a song that's been taken up by, you know, football, football fans. and Because that's a winner's song, you know, which, which keeps coming back. I can't believe that somebody else hasn't written another song to take it over, you know? What I've written in the past is finished and done with, and, uh, okay, if, they, if I hear it on the radio or people talk about it, I feel, oh, yeah, that's great. But to me, I'm thinking about, oh, what are they going to say about my new stuff? What are they going to say about my solo project? That's more interesting to me right now. Basically, I want everyone to have a good time. It's, it's just, uh, I write sad songs, but I also want everyone to have have a good time and just forget their problems and, and just let themselves go for a little while while they're listening to my album, you know. One, two, three. Got to face the facts and start all over. 